yesterday we discussing regarding as the u shaped valleys u shaped valleys formed by the river when it leaves the mountains it leaves the mountainous region and enters in plains it enters in plains <clears throat> in that state sudden decrease in a velocity of a river water river water velocity of river water the two, the sediments present in a river starts to cutting their base which leads to the formation of a u shaped valleys u shaped valleys second we discuss as a alluvial fans when river leaves the mountains it leaves as the mountains their piedmont area this is as a mountain afterwards as a plains begins so such regions which are as the form which are founded to the accumulation of a sediments the deposition of a sediments by the river deposition of sediments by the river are known as alluvial fans when river leaves the mountains it flow through the mountainous regions it eroded sediments in a larger quantities gravels nodules pebbles boulders they are eroded by the river water due to the high velocity velocity high velocity along the steep sided slopes more erosional work occurred by the river but same river when enters in a plains it can't carry the such heavy load of sediments it start to deposit at their piedmont areas the foothills of mountains foothills of mountains through which as the alluvial fans are came into existence alluvial fans they came into existence to this process alluvial fans are came into existence third we discuss i think as a meanders when river enters in a plains it starts to flow according to the slope of a region to meandering if the slope is a slope is still as a steeper then the river it will be the carved as the broader loops if the slope is a lesser steeper it is as a gentle then the loops it will be as a narrower so through which as river water flow in a plains flow in plains so to the meanders to meanders the loop shaped water body loop shaped water body separated 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 from main stream of river water stream of river water main stream of river water through forward erosion forward erosion and backward deposition backward deposition forward erosion means when river turns it take as the turn under such circumstances the next bend it will be as a pier there will be as a more erosion and the backward there will be as a deposition so due to the regular erosion and the deposition some part of a water body separated from the main river separated from main river due to which as the oxbow lakes are came into existence oxbow lakes are existed on a surface oxbow lake lake is a water body which is surrounded by the landmass surrounded by the landmass so oxbow lakes they are resulted on a surface to the forward erosion and a backward deposition forward erosion and backward deposition forward erosion and backward deposition such kind of the oxbow lakes are came into existence on a surface to the erosion and a deposition on surface erosion and deposition on surface clear erosion and deposition on surface next fifth type of a landform formed by the river at 
the middle course at the middle course are flood plains these are the flood plains flood plains flood plains flood plains this is as a bank of a river river bank area which has carved by the meandering by the formation of a meanders on a surface meanders on surface oxbow lake the water body separated from the a loop shaped water body separated from the main course of a river during as a floods during as floods in rainy season when they were flooded with the excess of water they were flooded with excess of water during rainy season during rainy season river water start to move away from its banks this is as the course of a river so river water it go across from its banks and extend in a larger area extends in a larger area larger area when again river moves towards a normal in a condition river water move back towards their in course under such circumstances the deposition of a sediments deposition of sediments deposition of sediments on surface on surface leads to the formation of flood plains it leads to the formation of flood plains in middle course in middle course due to low gradient low gradient and excess of water during floods excess of water enormous amount of water during rainy season during rainy season during rainy season starts to cut their sides river water starts to cut their banks and extend in a it extend in a larger area it extend in a larger area extend in a larger area when that water that river water which has, has uh, which has extended during the floods during the rainy season in a larger extensive area it will it will expand on a larger surface area so again when the water it move back towards their main stream of a river stream of a river river move back towards their stream of a river under such circumstances under such circumstances a type of a land forms which are resulted to the deposition of a deposition of sediments on surface are known as a flood plains they are known as the flood plains they are known as the flood plains they are known as the flood plains flood plains so when river bank go across from their boundaries and extends in a larger area through the deposition of a sediments on a surface deposition of sediments on surface the landforms which resulted these are known as a flood plains flood plains indirectly we can say as a these are the areas which are result of a which are result of a destruction caused by the river when the river flooded with the excess or enormous amount of a water it go across from its banks and extend in a larger area these are known as a flood plains example example kosi k o s i kosi river which earlier known as a saro of bihar saro of bihar saro of bihar due to floods saro of 
Bihar due to floods. So plains in plains of Bihar result of a Kosi River. Second, Damodar in a West Bengal. Damodar earlier known as a sorrow of Bengal because of the floods. Both the rivers now as a constructive in way supportive for a society. Supportive for economy in, on both the rivers, Kosi River and Damodar River, dams are built by the Indian government. Dams built across these two rivers for generation of electricity. Such enormous amount of water which assembled in a, these two rivers during the rainy season, it is now as a constructive in way used for a generation of hydroelectricity. Generation of hydroelectricity. Clear? Yes, Janvi, the example of a U-shaped belly when Ganga flows in a parts of a Lucknow, Allahabad, it widen its valley, it, it broader their banks as well as their bees, as well as their bees. Ganga in Uttar Pradesh, Ganga in Uttar Pradesh, Bias in Pathan Goat, Bias in parts of a Punjab. It widen its valley, it broader their banks as well as their bees. Clear? Any other questions? Any other questions? Kosi is called the Soru of Bihar because of the floods. Earlier, bef uh, around the before of uh, 2005, Kosi led the floods every year, which leads to the poor conditions of the farmers in a parts of Bihar to the floods. In floods, they lost their crops. Crop failures occur due to the floods. That's why it was earlier known as a sorrow of Bihar. Sorrow of Bihar. But afterwards, as a construction of a dam on a Kosi River, it is supportive for their economy, for generation of hydroelectricity. Same as Damodar River, Damodar River Valley project constructed on a Damodar River, which decreased the impact of the floods. That water which accumulated in a reservoirs, it is used for, it is used for the hydro, hydroelectricity. It is used for the hydroelectricity. Any other? Yes, any other? Any other questions? Next. Next type of the landforms which are developed in a, which are developed in a middle course, developed in a middle course, is a braided streams, braided streams, braided streams. Braided streams. Braided streams as a fifth, now the sixth as a riverine islands also. Riverine islands. Riverine islands. Riverine islands. Riverine islands. Wind River, Wind River leaves mountains, Wind River leaves mountains and carries an enormous amount of boulders, boulders or large size rocks, boulders, enormous amount of boulders and pebbles which are unable to carry by the river, carry by the river in its way, in its way towards the mouth, towards the mouth, the river, the river channel, river channel clogged by river channel 
clogged by sediments clogged by sediments through which the river and islands are came into existence so when boulders can't carry by the can't carry by the river through its course till the mouth it start to deposit such boulders such boulders in its course in its course such kind of the landforms resulted named as a river and island this is the bank of a river bank of a river in between the river when in between the river sediments or a boulders deposited by the river boulders deposited by the river which clog which restrict as a flow of a river water under such circumstances a type of a landforms which are resulted are known as riverine islands riverine islands these are known as the riverine islands example dhubri d h u b r i dhubri in assam dhubri in assam in assam is the example of a riverine island present in a brahmaputra river present in brahmaputra river and through the deposition of a sediments river water starts to flow starts to flow through these riverine islands such smaller streams which flow through the such islands are known as a braided streams these are known as the braided streams when river water starts to flow such riverine islands deposited by the river in its course in its course by deposition of a boulders known as braided streams braided streams are formed by the one river brahmaputra in assam brahmaputra in assam makes the braided streams it makes the braided streams in assam clear till there any questions any questions any questions any queries otherwise we have to proceed towards the third stage of a river lower course third stage of river lower course clear third course of river lower course third stage lower course of river lower course of river it is also known as a mouth of a river where the river falls in a sea or ocean mouth of river mouth of river this stage is also known as a old stage first stage is a youthful stage middle course is a mature stage and the lower course is the old stage of river old stage where the river ends in a sea or ocean afterwards the existence of a sea will known not as a river it is the end of a river old stage of river clear so what are the basic characteristics in a old stage of a river the lower course of river first first river it's having as a broader valley more broader broader valleys broader valleys it's having as a large volume of water volume of water volume of water river engaged in a depositional work depositional 
work deposition of a sediments when the river can't carry the material due to the low gradient low gradient low gradient it start to deposit the sediments along its banks river it can't carry the sediments till the sea or ocean due to the negligible slope slope is almost equivalent to the mean sea level mean sea level in that state of a low gradient it start to deposit the sediments it start to deposit the sediments due to which as a marshy lands are came into existence marshy lands due to the presence of a saline sea water saline sea water these regions are rich in a wetlands marshy lands wetlands clear wetlands marshy lands so the first type of a till there any questions any questions now any questions regarding it so the first type of the landforms which are carved by the river at its at its lower course is a at its lower course is a delta first delta is a delta is a triangular piece of land delta is a triangular piece of land delta is a triangular piece of land formed by river formed by river at its mouth when river when river can't carry river it can't carry heavy load of finer sediments heavy load of fine sediments sand and silt sand and silt towards the sand and silt what do you want to say goshan tributes goshan yes sir sorry next goshan 9c raise your hand goshan from 9c yes goshan contains number of tributes yes. what the number of tributaries are joined in the lower course tributaries no these are the distributaries tributaries means when the smaller streams of water joined together to forms a larger river larger stream is known as a tributaries in a lower course river has developed thus distributaries distributaries which will be as a comes later so when the river reaches at its mouth it can't carry the heavy load of sediments silt and sand sediments silt and sand which are deposited which are deposited at its bank river deposited at its bank due to which as a type of a landforms which are came into existence are known as a delta delta deltas are rich in alluvial soils deltas are rich in alluvial soils delta is rich in alluvial soils example sundarbans sundarbans formed in bangladesh formed in bangladesh and west bengal of india west bengal of india at the bank of a ganga and brahmaputra at the banks of ganga and brahmaputra ganga and brahmaputra clear next is a distributary not the tributary gushan distributaries second landform 
or a structure which has formed where the river at its mouth is a distributaries. Distributaries. When river reaches at its mouth, it start to split into, it start to split or divide among, divide among smaller streams of water. Arrow, arrow mark is a downward. River moving from a, this way towards a, this side. So the, when river starts to divide it among the smaller streams of water, it starts to split into the smaller streams, smaller streams due to low gradient, due to low gradient, smaller streams due to low gradient, low gradient is known as distributaries. These are the distributaries, distributaries. Distributaries. River split into the smaller streams because the gradient is a lower, slope is a gentle, river can't carry the sediment, sediments deposited in its bank, in its course, river starts to flow through the such deposition of a sediments through which the distributaries are came into existence. Distributaries, example, example, Example of a distributary, Hugli is the H-U-G-L-I, H-U-G-L-I, Hugli is the distributary of, Hugli is the distributary of Ganga in West Bengal. Hugli is H-U-G-L-I, Hugli is the distributary of Ganga in West Bengal. Clear? Distributary of Ganga in West Bengal. Is that clear? Till there any questions? Till there any questions? Yes, any questions? Next is now the estuaries. Estuaries. Third landform as estuaries. Estuary. Estuary is a funnel shaped structure. Funnel shaped structure. Funnel shaped structure formed by river. Formed by river, formed by river at its mouth when, when river flow through rocky surfaces, river flow through the example of a river and island is a Dhubri, D-H-U-B-R-I, Dhubri in Assam, clear? Dhubri in Assam, so let's see, proceed. Estuary is a funnel shaped structure, this is a funnel shaped structure carved by the river at its mouth when river flow through the rocky surfaces. In Delta, river flow through the plain areas, but in a estuaries, river flow through the rocky surfaces, rocky surfaces. Instead, they have a narrow, instead, they have a narrow, instead, they have a narrow, gradually widening bay at the mouth, Widening bay at the mouth, B A Y, bay at the mouth, bay at the mouth, cutting deep inland, cutting deep inland, surface of coast, 
सरफेस ऑफ कोस्ट कटिंग डीप इन लैंड सरफेस ऑफ कोस्ट रिजल्टेड द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द एचरीज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एचरीज इन एचरीज रिवर वॉटर रिवर वॉटर स्टार्ट टू फॉल रिवर वॉटर फॉल्स थ्रू वर्टिकल स्ट्रक्चर्स वर्टिकल स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ सर्फेस वर्टिकल स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ सर्फेस इन डेल्टा वॉट दॉट द जनरली हैपन्स रिवर स्टार्ट टू स्प्लिट इन टू द स्मॉलर स्ट्रीम्स बट इन एचरीज रिवर वॉटर स्टार्ट टू फॉल एज अ वर्टिकली थ्रू द रॉकी सर्फेसेस थ्रू रॉकी सर्फेसेस नोन एज एचरी नोन एज एचरी नोन एज एचरी this is the erosional landform this is not the depositional this is as the erosional landform because in that state river falls from a rocky surface strike over a rocks which leads to the erosion when water falls from the high velocity over a rocky surface which leads as a erosional work that's why the erosion moves occur in a steep sided slopes of a mountains at youthful stage at youthful stage clear example narmada and tapi narmada and tapi rivers narmada and tapi rivers makes echuries both of these rivers makes echuries echuries when they falls in arabian sea they falls in arabian sea at gulf of khambat k h a m b a t gulf of khambat narmada and tapi both of these these rivers falls in a gulf of khambat gulf of khambat on arabian sea on arabian sea clear next fourth landform levees till there any questions any questions yes any questions levees we will discuss in our next class in our next class levees l e v w -E e s levees so any queries related with the today's class is anybody so i'm going to ending the meeting thank you